Waste of words, waste of breath. Cause I've got none to say. Thoughts they burn inside my chest. Can take it one more day. No matter how much pain. Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Destiny and I am so happy to have you here to get motivated with you today. So I just wanted to thank you for joining me and let's get started. All right, and we are off to take the littles to school. Life must go on. What won't kill me will make me stronger. When I'm falling down on my knees. Boys are dropped off at school. I'm going to go ahead and do my shop right online order. I was going to go in person, but I decided not to. It's just easier for me to do a visual on the shop right order. I saw somebody on Facebook actually talk trash about moms who do that. And I was like, ooh, I feel seen. But I do it because it helps me stay within my budget. And if I need to get something in person, then I will. But like most of the time, I've been doing it for so long that I can just do an online order with my eyes closed most of the time. Um, so I want to go ahead and do that. I just really feel the need to like clean and like relax today. It's uh, as you guys can see, this is the weather for the day, and I just want to like take it easy. I feel like we're always on the go, or like we always feel like we need to do something, and I never just like slow down. So I think I'm just gonna slow down a little today. Oh, here you are. Face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything Wait guys, so I think I have a new life hack or maybe I'm new to the game, I don't know. But I didn't have bleach the other day when I washed my sheets. So I cut my magic eraser in half and put it in the washer and my sheets came out so bright. I'm gonna try it again, but I think it might be a new life hack for me at least. I don't see the logic of things. It's quite a lonely world. And I hope you guys are having a good week. I hope that you have found happiness and joy throughout the week. I know we all have our ups and our downs. And if you guys want, you can always leave your comments down below. And I would love to chat and hear about what's going on in your life as well. For me, a topic of conversation was splitting household duties this week, and I'm curious to know what are some things that you guys are having your significant others do just to kind of help you out during the week, get what you need to get done, and help run the house a little smoother. Alright guys, and if you haven't already, let's get up, let's get moving. If you have to get in that kitchen, put your dishes away, load the dishwasher, wipe down your counters, whatever it is, let's get up and do it together. And if you guys have made it this far, I just want to say thank you again. Thank you for the support and the love doing anything and everything I've done so far. And 
guys let me know if you're enjoying these videos if you are just give that thumbs up i would love to know that you know they are getting you motivated and getting you guys moving and grooving for your day as well Cause you love to have them all crying Gonna be sweet day Tell me you need me One of my favorite things to do when I'm cleaning Is just chatting on the phone with one of my friends If they're home It's always just entertaining A great way of killing time And like just making it a little more enjoyable And talking about things that You know you don't get to talk about Much throughout the day when you're a stay at home mom So it's nice to you know, be able to connect even while I'm still doing what I need to do in my home. And even though I complain about the fact that I have a dishwasher, and I still haven't been able to use it and it's brand new, never been ran and I've had it for about six months. I still would be hand washing my dishes anyway, but I hate having a dish rack and I would typically just wash my dishes and put them into the sink. But, you know, you gotta be patient, I guess. And sometimes I know there's days where you just really can't get moving. And I just hope that for those of you that are having that day, just that day where you just, nothing seems to either go your way or your heart's just a little too heavy. Be gracious with yourself. Be patient with yourself while you continue to heal and cope in whatever you're going through right now. I'm way up on the coke and rum. You stay up, up and I'll come on. Don't wait up, cause I'm way too gone. I love being able to maintain a cleaning routine. And this week I've been going really strong and my mental health has seemed to be pretty good where I'm able to stay focused stay on track with everything um and that's really key for me all right so i have the crock pot out and ready to go i am making my olive garden chicken recipe that's just the Italian dressing with chicken breast. I got it off of TikTok. You guys probably have seen it. Um, it works very well here at the house. Uh, everyone seems to like it. So excited. My packages came in. I've been waiting for like a week. Uh, I just ordered sweatpants and underwear, so I'm not sure why I was so anxious for them to come in, but I was so happy. Um, I also ordered these slippers and I love them. So all of this is from Pink. So my sister sent Xavier this barbarian kit and I thought it was so adorable. I will link it down in my description box. I just, I don't know, I couldn't get over the little details with it. And I know I said I'm going to take it easy and I promise you this is what easy looks like for me. I did step out to go to the family dollar with my girlfriend who came to visit and I found some cute stuff. I love going there just to see if I can find any good hidden treasures. I did find some good things but I didn't leave with anything. Ooh, I like this. Oh, I love that actually. And then like repaint, like paint them, like you can paint them black. That would be really cute on that command center thing I wanna do. All right, well, my girlfriend came over for the day. So we like just did a few errands and hung out and that's like our favorite thing to do when we can get together. 
so that was fun. Um, I'm gonna go get Carmelo now and just kind of like remind you guys like we all need a balance in our life so I really try my hardest to stay in touch with my girlfriends um, just so that you know we can hang out and decompress and relate and encourage and do all those amazing things for one another and I feel like if we did that more or at least had like a healthier approach to social life and motherhood it would in my opinion would make things a lot easier for everyone but that's just my opinion just brought my cordless uh, vacuum back out of retirement. I hadn't used it in a while because I felt like it wasn't working. I did figure out what was going on. I had the filter clipped in wrong. But I am thankful that I got that back. That I also had this beautiful mop and I was obsessed with it and I didn't know everyone knew about it before me. So I'm just sharing it because I agree it was one of the best mops I've used and I think everyone should have one. The coffee shop thought he was the one until we broke it off i recall it still in his bed of truck yeah, i cried like hell then i told him So I absolutely loved it. It was great. I went ahead and did the floors in the living room as well. My lighting in my living room is completely opposite than my kitchen. And it makes everything look super warm, which annoys me. But it's the same color as the boys' rooms and you would never know. One of the things I do in the morning when I plan my day is try to find time to have a little bit of self-care. One of the things I like to do for self-care is read books. So I do find at least a half an hour to 45 minutes almost every day to sit back, read, catch up on my emails and whatever else I have going on and just slow things down. Cause I got high ambitions, a boss vision. I'm granting all my wishes. I don't need you. Cause you've been blocking me and you've held me back from day one. Always can't be down so I could And the reality is I can clean a hundred times in a day, but the house still gets messy, especially when the kids are home with you. So just be patient with yourselves. If you feel like you're doing circles, chances are you probably are. Just stop, step away from your task. And do it again another time. Okay, so this is what the Olive Garden dressing chicken looks like. It shreds right up, so I'm able to just pull it apart with just the fork. And I have my noodles boiling. I do have them boiling in chicken broth, water, and a little bit of oil. So I'm going to go ahead and mix everything up and add in the rest of the stuff. Fly with the stars, sound free. Party all day, every weekend, make it boom, boom to the beat. Just a tip, if you are making this meal, add in the cheese at the very end, like once you add in the pasta, because I have burnt cheese in this crock pot so many times with this meal. Make it boom, 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 boom. I'm glad to be a lie, lie, lie. Cause I don't want to waste my time, no. Sometimes things don't go our way. I had an entire evening routine that I wanted to do with you guys and my kids just weren't in the mood for cooperation today and that's okay. They have a right to that. So I am going to wrap this up by saying thank you once again for joining me and I will see you guys next time. Oh,